Alright guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So we are officially less than 7 days away from the beginning of Global's 5 year anniversary. Obviously many of us have been waiting for this for a very long time and it's just crazy to me man that we're this close. You know, like it's right there. It's right there. And honestly my brain is still trying to process exactly what's going on because this is all I've been thinking about for the last month and a half, two months, maybe even longer, I'm pretty sure I had dreams. Alright, I'm pretty sure I had dreams about Vegito and Gogeta. So the point I'm trying to make is I'm hyped, man. I am freaking hyped. Not sure if that was obvious or not, but hopefully you guys are excited as well. And in today's video, we are going to be going over everything that us global players can expect to get between the countdown and parts 1, 2, and 3 of this upcoming celebration. Now real quick before we get into it, I do want to be clear that most of this video will be based off JP's celebration since, you know, Globals hasn't happened yet. And there is a chance that a few things here and there might be a little bit different, but for the most part, it will be exactly the same campaign. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with the countdown campaign first, which started on global yesterday. So we know for a fact that nothing here is going to change. So the first thing we have here is a login bonus, which will give us a grand total of seven dragon stones. No, sorry, 10 dragon stones, 35 anniversary tickets over the course of seven days, which is pretty nice. And then after that, we have a returning campaign, which is basically a which I call it a community campaign, I guess, where we basically have to get up to 50,000 people to return to the game during the anniversary to get up to 15 dragon stones, some orbs, some kais, and some other good stuff. So if you guys have friends or you know people who, you know, quit the game, make sure you pull them back or right? get them to log in again. I think as long as they log in one time, then it'll count. I mean, I'm pretty sure we will meet the fifth step requirements like the 50,000 people regardless of whether or not we do anything but just to be extra sure all right pull those people back in at least get them to log in one time they don't have to commit to playing the game again and uh we should be good to go all right so that is the returning campaign and then after that we have the genius balma's battle prep event coming back of course this is a very good event for farming support items and those support items will come in very handy for the upcoming world tournament the 33rd world tournament on global starting on uh july 2nd or july 3rd depending on your time zone for me it's going to be the morning of the third ending on the fifth sunday and the reward the new unit we're getting is this tech mecha frieza now honestly i'm not that hyped for him i don't really care about him but but it's been a long ass time since the last world tournament on global over three months to be exact so uh i probably will be grinding pretty hard here i mean i'm just hyped to play the game anyways because the anniversary is coming so expect a lot of streams and a lot of content for this world tournament very soon make sure to tune in to those streams if you guys have the time okay so that's the world tournament and then after that we have a world tournament support pack in the pilaf's trove stay away not worth it and a couple of story events coming back the rabbit mob as well as this uh, adventure of gratitude event and then a lot of dokkan events will be available every single day for most of the actually for the entire anniversary but there are going to be certain dokkan events excluded i'm not sure which ones but uh, most of the events will be available. So if you guys still need to token awaken some of your units, then this is a good chance to do that. And also Super Bad Road available every single day for the entire uh, anniversary. And this is freaking awesome. Stamina refresh time reduced from five minutes to three minutes for the entire anniversary. So basically over a month and you basically will just be able to do a lot more with your stamina because it refreshes so much faster, right? So that's fantastic. Make sure to take advantage of this because it's very rare, all right? I'm pretty sure we've only gotten this like one or two times before and it's always been for major celebrations. So just take advantage of this because like I said, we don't get it a lot. And uh, from there we have some Baba Shop discounts, that's cool. And also quadruple ranking XP. For anybody that's like 
below rank 500 definitely get to grinding complete all of those rank up missions because you can get a lot of stones through them and um it's just cool to be a high rank because it shows people that you've been playing this game for a while right so <laughs> grind your rank right now and what else oh triple success rate in uh training that's fine oh also the missions so it's a little bit late now actually because they're they're over but hopefully all of you guys have been keeping up with your ticket missions but even if you missed a few don't stress too much because these tickets are not for the guaranteed lr banner all right some people seem to think that these tickets are used for the 55 unit multi ticket banner which, which we'll talk about in a second but these are different tickets all right i mean the fact that bandai gave us 55 tickets for this like countdown mission campaign thing was kind of dumb because it misled a lot of people right so don't stress guys all right if you missed a few tickets here or there obviously it kind of sucks that you have less tickets to summon with but you're not screwed for the guaranteed lr banner okay and after that oh we had the wallpaper voting thing and the one that won was this wallpaper right here uh, definitely not my favorite i'm not gonna lie it doesn't look that great to me but i understand why people voted for it and uh there it is okay <laughs> and what else and then we have to count down so yeah today was seven days and then it's gonna be six days five days four days and so on and so forth until we reach the beginning of the anniversary so speaking of the anniversary let's pop over to the actual anniversary page here obviously like i said this is what jp got for their anniversary but it should be very similar on global so scrolling down oh quick random fact basically any event with the gogeta badge here will be set in the dragon ball super broly movie world and then for any events with the vegeto badge they're set in the world of dragon ball super future trunk saga obviously it doesn't make a huge difference either way but it's kind of cool and moving on to the actual events now okay so we have the special anniversary ticket not not ticket sorry uh special anniversary movie that we can watch as soon as the anniversary begins and it basically is just there to hype up the release of lr gogeta and lr vegeto now i do kind of want to show it but at the same time i don't want to ruin it for anybody that hasn't seen it yet you know like it's kind of cool to watch it for the first time when the anniversary begins you know what okay i will i will show it i will show it but for anybody that doesn't want to be spoiled like you want to watch it for the first time when it's the anniversary then just look away or skip ahead like 30 seconds and it should be over okay so you've been warned you've been warned here we go All right, so there you go, the special anniversary movie for part one. There is gonna be a movie for every single part that's different, but this is the part one movie, obviously because Gogeta and Vegeta are coming for part one. And uh, if this doesn't get you hyped for their banners, then nothing will, man, because I've seen this like at least 20 times and it still does it for me. I still get hyped when I see this. So uh, good job to Bandai for that. And next up, we have a login bonus, of course. So I believe, yes, on first login, on first login, JP got Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which is the special you know, character for the anniversary. Every single year we get a different Goku with uh, a different number of you know fingers showing. So the first anniversary was one finger, second anniversary, two fingers, and so on and so forth. And obviously progressing through the forms. We also will be getting 45 Dragon Stones, five of the 55 unit multi guaranteed LR tickets. Obviously there's many ways to get them, but these are the first five we get. And then also the 10th red Dragon Stone, which we can use to exchange for a free unit in the Baba Shop. And then after that, we have some special missions. I'll show you guys real quick, but we're not obviously gonna talk about all of them, but these missions will give us some more anniversary tickets, some of the 55 unit multi tickets, some copies of uh, the blue Goku, as well as some Kai, some orbs, training items, um, anniversary coins, obviously, and all that good stuff. So there you go. 
And then we have a second community campaign. Now, I don't know if it's going to look exactly like this, but it should be something similar. And uh, it's called the Collect the Blue Number 15 Electrolytes campaign, where we all have to work together to clear certain missions. And these missions are stuff like equip skill orbs for more than 2 million times. And by the way, if you guys don't know what skill orbs are, they're basically the equipment in um, Dokkan. And if you want a full explanation of like how this stuff works and how to get them, you can watch the video that's linked somewhere above my head over here. So there's the skill orbs one, there's Ray's super attack level for more than 10 million times, Z awaken characters for more than 550,000 times, consume at least 500 million stamina. Now these numbers might be a little bit different because, um, you know, JP players just play the game a lot more, so maybe they'll make it a little bit easier for us. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's going to be stuff like this, right? Different missions like this, and once we clear all of them, we'll get a good amount of dragon stones, we'll get some anniversary coins, some uh, story keys, and all that good stuff, okay? So that is the community event, and then we have the Dual Dokkan Fest between Gogeta and Vegito, which doesn't actually drop as soon as the anniversary starts, but starts, but drops two days after, alright? So the anniversary should begin on the 6th or the 7th, depending on your time zone, and then two days later, on the 8th slash 9th, once again, depending on your time zone, we'll be getting the Dual Dokkan Fest banners here. And of course, we'll take a look at the banners in a second. I'm sure most of you guys already know exactly what they look like, but for anybody that hasn't been keeping up with the news, we'll take a look in a second. They're, they're amazing though, for sure. They're some of the best banners we've ever seen in the game. And then we have the Dokkan events, of course, for Gogeta and Vegito 2. And uh, this is the ticket banner for the five-year anniversary. So this is the banner that we'll be using those fifth anniversary tickets we've been collecting so far on. And then we also have the 55 unit multi banner. So there's going to be two different versions of this banner. The first one is going to be a stone banner. So for 200 stones, you'll get a guaranteed LR with the 55 units. And then there's going to be a separate ticket banner where we can get the tickets for free over the course of the anniversary. We can't get them immediately. Let me just be clear. Okay, so over the course of the anniversary, can collect tickets as more missions and stuff like that come out and then once we collect all 55 tickets we can do a free 55 unit multi with a guaranteed lr at the end okay so that is the 55 banner right there and then we also have the uh fifth anniversary coin shop or coin exchange which we'll take a closer look at in a second but moving on to this next thing here, we have a red Dragonstone selection. And once again, the red Dragonstone is free to play. We get it upon first login. So you can get one of these units for free. For the purple Dragonstone selection, as always, the purple Dragonstone is locked behind stone packs. So they are not free to play, but they're a nice bonus for anybody that was planning to buy stones, right? And we'll take a look at the pools here for the red Dragonstone and the purple Dragonstone um, later as well. And then from there, we have the Dragonstone sales. They were really good sales. They don't list what they, like the, the full details here for the sales, but I can guarantee you there will be some very good packs to purchase for all my pay to play players out there. So uh, expect some good stuff basically for this and also the purple Dragonstone packs, of course. And then we have a new story event. This is the Zero Mortals um, plan event with the free to play STR Zamasu who Dokkan awakens into LR Goku Black and then eventually gets an Extreme Z Awakening in part 3. And then after that there's another new story event, the 3 Saiyans led by Fate event with the free to play um, Kid Broly as well as Kid Raditz and Vegeta and they both get Extreme Z Awakenings too. And then this is the new, uh, I think it's called Frieza Force Recruitment event where it's basically like punching bag, except you have to use different categories. And uh, the more damage you do, the more missions you complete, and the more uh, rewards you can get from it. We'll take a look at that in a second too. So basically we're doing an overview of everything first, and then going more into detail later, okay? And then there's the uh, Whis training event where we can get some skill orbs for the first time. And then a couple of story events returning. We got the Dragon Ball Super Broly event as well as the Future Trunk Saga story event, which makes a lot of sense because this anniversary is basically based off these two uh, sagas or stories or worlds or whatever you want to call them. 
and we also have a new boss rush stage i believe it's boss rush 10 and that's another 35 free stones right there and also a new stage of infinite dragon ball history and this one's based off the dragon ball super broly um, event or movie rather and that's another 30 ish stones i believe and then we have all of the extreme z battles um available throughout the entire anniversary now it does say that some extreme z battles are not eligible i'm not sure which ones are excluded but hopefully not any of the ones that people actually care about right like vegeto blue for example and from there we have the elder kai banner we have hit a potential event open uh, during the weekends and finally a new virtual dokkan ultimate clash or dokkan battlefield that is specially themed around the five year anniversary okay so there you go guys that is part one of the five year anniversary as you can see there is a lot of stuff and this is only part one out of three although to be honest most of the events do come out for part one and these celebrations tend to be a little bit top heavy but we still get some good stuff for the other parts so let's move on to part two now and once again, like I said, we do get another special movie. If you guys want to, you know, be surprised and see it for the first time during part two, then close your eyes, close your ears, or skip ahead 30 seconds, and you'll be good to go. Okay, enjoy. So there you go, yeah, basically this one is to uh, hype up the release of LR Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo, as well as um, the Awakening for LR Goku Black. Now, there is also Rosé, of course, in the same banner as Broly, but I guess they, they wanted to keep that a secret here. But that is the second uh, special movie for the anniversary. I mean, of course, we still have some missions here, and uh, we can get more copies of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, some more tickets, some more um, coins, anniversary coins, and all that stuff, dragon stones of course, and then a second or I guess technically third um, community campaign where number one we get this awesome, awesome wallpaper, probably the best one in the game honestly, for Gogeta versus Broly, and then we also have to complete some other you know, community based missions like token awakening characters a certain amount of times or extreme z awakening characters collect an x amount of zenny use an x amount of stamina and uh, once we you know do all those things we can get some good rewards including uh 10 dragon stones so you know not a ton but not bad and then we get a new stage added to the Zamasu event which will give us the awakening medals to awaken Zamasu from his tur form to LR Goku Black. This story event also gets a new stage, which will give us the medals to Dokkan Awaken, the Kid Broly, as well as the Kid Vegeta and Raditz. And both of them also get Extreme Z Awakenings through a new Extreme Z battle right here. And uh, the new banner for part two is a top legendary summon. Now, when it was first released, you know, in the in-game news, it just had this image. It didn't really say anything about what the units were, but of course, by that time, we already knew what the units would be, and uh, of course, it's going to be for the Int Rosé, as well as LR, Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo, and of course, another Dragonstone sale. Now, obviously, we'll also get new stone sales on Global for Part 2 as well, but JP also had a collab with this company that does like ticket games where you get random prizes or something like that. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how it worked. But I don't think we're gonna get this on global because it seems to be a JP exclusive kind of thing. But uh, the way it worked was that they had these 100 stone packs that gave a bonus ticket for a special banner, which is this banner right here, that had six older Dokkan Fest units, and the ticket would guarantee you one of the six. So as you can see, it's not that exciting, but some of these guys are still pretty good. We got the STR Gogeta, AGL Vegito Blue. 
um, not Vegeta Blue, sorry, Super Vegito, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, SSB, Vegeta, UI Goku, and Int, Goku Black. I mean, actually, all of them are still good. They're just fairly old, right? So once again, I'm not sure if Global will get this, so we might just get like regular stone sales, like regular stone packs, maybe with like some extra stones or something like that, but maybe we'll get the tickets too. Honestly, I could care less because I don't need any of those units, but um, there you go. All right, so that's the, the banner associated with these tickets right there, and also some more Elder Kai uh, or another Elder Kai banner, so... That was part two, guys. Like I said, part one was definitely the most eventful one. And uh, we're going to move on to part three now and basically close out the anniversary. So for part three, we got another new movie. And, uh, oh, there's no link for it here. Okay, so we're not going to show it here because I don't want to go look for it right now. But new movie, as well as some new anniversary missions. We can get the final copies of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku to rainbow him, uh, some more tickets, also a sticker and 20 stones for uh, completing all the missions. If you guys don't know what stickers are, I will ma be making a separate video talking about them and uh, going over how they work, so stay tuned. And we also have a fourth community campaign. This one is about Trunks, and uh, we essentially have to send energy to Trunks by completing the uh, I think it's LR Goku Black Extreme Z Area event. Yes, Extreme Z Area Project Zero Mortals. And if uh, we do it a certain amount of times, we complete all the steps and get all the rewards. And as you can see, this was for 15 stones and some other good stuff. And also a new wallpaper, which is Vegito Blue versus uh, Fusion Zamasu. And then, of course, related to that is the LR Goku Black Extreme Z Area which allows us to, of course, Extreme Z Awaken the LR Goku Black and make him the first Easy A LR in the history of Dokkan. Now, at this point, we already know that it's happening, so it's not like that huge of a deal, I guess. I mean, it's still a big deal, but it's not that huge of a shock. But when we first found out that this was coming, like when the Extreme Z Awakening medal for Goku Black was discovered in the game files, People lost their minds, man, because nobody saw this coming. You know, like, nobody expected an LR. Least of all, you know, a new free-to-play LR to get an Extreme Z Awakening. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. I guess that's kind of the benefit of JP, like, you know, being hyped about, you know, finding things out for the first time. Whereas on Global, you know, if you follow anything that happens on JP, there are very few things that can actually be surprises. So yeah, there's the Extreme Z uh, area for Goku Black. And we also have another new stage of the Infinite Dragon Ball History event for Part 3. And this is for the Future Trunk Saga. And also some special missions for the weekend. Those like golden weekend missions. Or some extra stones, extra Kais, and possibly a few other things. That wraps up the 5 year anniversary including the countdown and all three parts. Now, before we go, we do have to take a bit of a closer look at each of these events, as well as uh, the coin shop and the uh, purple stone shop, but I know this video is going very long, so I'm gonna try to keep it fairly concise and go through this a little bit quicker. So, first things first, we have the, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna go through the details for Gogeta and Vegito, but they're mainly here just to show you guys what you've been saving for, remind you what you've been saving for, and uh, get you guys hyped up for their imminent release in about nine days from the time this video comes out, possibly even sooner, depending on when you're watching this video. But so there's Gogeta, and also Vegito right here. Now the reason I'm not going through their details is because I've already talked about them thoroughly all right, like thoroughly in many, many videos. So if you guys want to see what they do, then pop over to my channel and check out one of my previous videos, breaking these guys down. But now we got to move on. So enjoy the art for just a second. And let's talk about the five year anniversary coin shop. So we'll be getting a lot of these coins throughout the anniversary, either through logins, missions, or other things and uh, we can buy a good amount of these uh, Grand Kai's here, five of each type to be exact. And then we also have the option to purchase some of these other units 
Um, but honestly, like they're not very good. At least they're not necessary to get. What I would recommend you guys get is uh, these guys right here. Bad Man Vegeta right here, this uh, Fizz Frieza, as well as this AGL Cell, because these three were not available on Global before. They were the cards that JP got for the Global versus JP campaigns. And uh, we got the, the Super Saiyan Goku, and I believe the Yamcha, as well as Hercule, all right? So if you guys want to be, you know, completionists and get all the cards we possibly can on Global, then definitely pick up at least one copy of each of the Vegeta, Frieza, and uh, Cell. And then for the rest of these um, items here, I mean, it's always good to get more orbs, always good to get more uh, reversal medals and all that stuff. But um, the priority should definitely be the Kai's first and then also the formerly JP exclusive units because who knows when they'll be back. It might be the next anniversary before you get a chance to purchase them again, right? So that is the coin shop right there. And then we have the purple stone shop. Now, this time around, if you get multiple copies or just multiple of the purple stones, you can actually use them to purchase either one of the OG 5LRs for three stones a pop, or you can buy some uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive category leads, right, for two coins a pop, right? So we got the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Jiren, um, SSBE, uh, you know, Super Vegito, and so on and so forth. So none of the like newer ones, but if you guys are missing some of these guys and you already we're gonna purchase the purple stone packs anyways. Then you can add one of these guys to your collection. Now, we also have the older purple stone units, so all the 120 leads, as well as uh, Vegito Blue and Rose for one purple stone a pop. And of course, as you guys know, Vegito Blue is, in my opinion, the best TUR in the entire game. But if not the best, then at least I think in most people's top three or top five, right? And Rose also got a really good Extreme Z Awakening. And all these other guys are starting to get their EZAs on JP. It might take a while to reach Global, but um, all of them eventually will have Extreme Z Awakenings. Super Saiyan 3 Broly is first, and I'm assuming that uh, we're probably going to get one of the Super Saiyan 4s pretty soon after. That's just my prediction. So if you guys are missing some of these, it might be worth it to pick them up too with the Purple Stones, since they don't get featured that often anymore on banners. I mean, they do once in a while, but um, this is a good chance to get them guaranteed, right? So that's the purple stone shop right there. And we also, have, of course, have the red stone shop. And there are a lot of units available with the red stone now. I'm not going to name all of them, but you guys can take a look. Here we go. So a lot of the EZA units are here. Not all of them, obviously, but most of them are. Also, if you have all of these guys rainbowed, which some people do, I think I do actually, Pretty sure every single one of these EZA units are 100%. So if you have all of them rainbowed, you do also have the option to pick up an Elder Kai with uh, your redstone. So that's nice. I like that. So yeah, that is the red and purple stone shops. And let's take a quick look or a closer look at the Zero Mortals Clan story event. The increased drop category is Time Travelers. As far as stones, which is obviously very important to a lot of people, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Dragon Stones from the stages, and then an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from the um, missions. So we're looking at a total of 18 free-to-play Dragon Stones from this story event. And then we're going to move on to the, oh, here's the LR Goku Black. As you guys can see, I would go through his details, but this video is going way too long, so I'm not going to since it's been covered in a previous video. And also the Three Saiyans Dead by Fate story event. And the increased drop category here is Pure Saiyans. And for Dragon Stones, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 from the missions, or sorry, from the stages. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 from the missions. So it's 13 in total free to play Dragon Stones for this story event. And the good thing about these uh, units is that they can be rainbowed for free. Broly and Vegeta both have farmable orbs, which is awesome because they're both free rainbows and you can save your regular orbs for other units, right? So that is the three Saiyans event. And here is the Kid Broly, sorry, Kid Vegeta and Raditz, as well as the Kid Broly, both with Extreme Z Awakenings. 
And as for this uh, Frieza's uh, Frieza Force Enrollment Exam event, like I said, it's similar to Punching Bag, where you're basically trying to nuke the event to do as much damage as possible. And the five different stages are Movie Bosses number one, or sorry, Movie Heroes number one, and Movie Bosses number two, Time Travelers number three, Patara number four, and Fusion number five. And each of these stages obviously have their own uh, missions right here. You can get some Hercule statues, some Kai's, and some Dragon Stones for doing up to 55.55 million damage. And you can also get some of the tickets for the 55 unit multi banner, but uh, they made it super easy to get them. So you get four for just clearing the stage once, and then one more for clearing the stage five times. And then same thing for the other stages. I think same rewards every time, just with a different category. And uh, you can get some more tickets for the 55 unit multi with each of these stages. So that is the Frieza event. After that, we have the Whis event, which can be cleared once per day during the anniversary for some skill orb drops. Um, if you get a Beerus at the enemy instead of Whis, then you can get better skill orb rewards. I think it's at least a silver one guaranteed. Maybe a gold one? I think it's silver guaranteed though, because with Whis, you're not guaranteed anything. Like, you could just get trash bronze orbs all the way. And we have a few missions here as well. For clearing the stage once, you get a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and a Hercule statue. And then for clearing it five times, you get one of the 55 uh, unit tickets, as well as two Sleepy Kais. And that is the Whis event. I think after the anniversary, it does come back, but it can only be cleared once a week. All right, so take advantage of this when it's daily during the anniversary. And from there, we have the Infinite Dragon Ball History event with uh, two new stages. The first one, like I said, is Dragon Ball Super Broly themed, and that's for part one of the anniversary. And the enemies are going to be Base Broly, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Wrathful Broly, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Broly, uh, Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan Vegeta, or oh, sorry, Gogeta, and uh, Full Power Broly, and then Super Saiyan Blue. Gogeta, and through the missions we can get a ton of stones just like every single stage. And the second one is for the Future Trunks Saga, and that's for part 3 of the anniversary. We got Trunks, we got Goku Black, uh, Goku Black for Rose and Zamasu, Super Saiyan Blue Ve Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Trunks and Mai, Fusion Zamasu, Vegito Blue, and then finally Super Saiyan Trunks as the final enemy. And uh, here are the missions. I'm not going to go through all of them, but as you can see, many stones and some other good stuff. And we also have the new Boss Rush stage, Boss Rush 10. And the enemies are going to be LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, Kid Goku, Tech Hit, as well as the Super Saiyan Trunks. Pretty easy for the most part. If you guys can clear the other Boss Rushes, then you should be fine with this as well. And that's another... 35 stones and what else do we have oh a special edition a five-year anniversary themed edition of ultimate clash is here as well and the enemies for level one are going to be paragus first and then bardock and then for level two we have Whis, beerus and trunks and mai and then for level three we have blue goku blue vegeta zamasu goku black and then finally we have wrathful broly who transforms into super saiyan broly so I don't remember how tough this was on JP, but shouldn't be that much tougher than the regular one. I think it's probably around the same level, maybe a little bit easier even, just so more people can beat it. I don't really know, but shouldn't be too bad. And finally, let's talk about the banners. All right, so this is the anniversary ticket banner. We got a bunch of random non Dokafest units featured here, but they're all pretty good. But the more exciting part is definitely the unfeatured pool with it should be all of the LRs up until, like non Dokkan Fest LRs that is, up until um, probably LR UI Goku. There's a chance he's excluded, so it might be everything before him, but I'm hopeful, all right? I'm hopeful that LR UI Goku will be included on this banner. And uh, of course, Nappa and Vegeta most likely won't be because they're just too new. But I believe everything before UI Goku will be on here, and that means that you always have a chance to pull one of them. Alright, on this banner, of course, they're unfeatured, so the rates are pretty low, 
but I've seen plenty of people pull like at least one or two LRs with their tickets during anniversaries, so it could be you. Good luck to everybody on their summons, of course. And that is the anniversary banner that we can use our 5th anniversary tickets on. And then from there we have the 55 unit guaranteed LR banner, okay? So the way it works is as the name suggests, you get 55 units in one multi. The last unit is a guaranteed LR. And there's two different banners. One is the 200 stone one and the second one is the 55 ticket one we can do for free uh, once we collect all the tickets. And uh, the featured characters are pretty lame. All right, let's be honest, nothing too exciting here. But in the unfeatured pool, as well as, um, you know, part of the guaranteed pool, we have, I don't want to say all of the non Dokkan Fest LRs, but it should be most of them, right? You can get a guaranteed LR on this banner. I think for 200 stones, it's totally worth it. And uh, we also get the free ticket one. So I recommend people to do both. But if you just want to do the ticket, that's fine too. And of course, there's always the chance you pull multiple LRs on this multi, because even though there's only one guaranteed LR, any of the other slots could also be LRs. So you're gonna see some people pull like four or five LRs on this multi. They're people we don't like, all right? We don't talk to those people, but it's gonna happen. So <laughs> there is the 55 unit multi banner. And a uh, quick look at the Gogeta banner here. We've already gone through this many times, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but we got Gogeta, we got the new uh, Bardock and Gine, we got LR Cell, uh, DBS Broly, DBS Gogeta, LR Gogeta from the three year anniversary, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Int Gogeta, who of course is getting an EZA soon in the near future, and also the EZA Omega Shenron, Int Janemba, and a couple of SRs. Amazing, amazing banner right there, man. I can't overstate enough just how much value, how good value this banner is. But then you move on to the Vegito banner, and it's actually even better, in my opinion. All right, we got. Vegito himself, we got Trunks and Mai, which is new, along with the Bardock and Gine, and also LR Gohan, who I'm going to get either way, right? Like, I have enough coins to buy him. If you guys don't know what happened to me during the download celebration, I spent over 3,000 stones and didn't pull him, okay? So, I'm looking forward to getting my first copy either through summons or by buying him in the Baba Shop. And then we have AGL Zamasu, Tech. Trunks. STR Boo, obviously not the most hype unit, but he's not bad. And um, I actually don't have him, believe it or not, so I wouldn't mind pulling him. But if they're going to replace anybody on these banners, I do hope it's this guy and they replace him with STR Cooler because obviously we didn't have him on the um, Beerus banner, right? And then we have LR Vegito, uh, Fizz Super Vegito, Fusions of Masu, and also. Fizz Vegito Blue. For anybody that doesn't have him or who doesn't have him rainbowed, this is going to be also an amazing, amazing pull, okay? So that is the Vegito banner, which I think, in my opinion, is better than the Gogeta banner. And then we have the Part 2 banner, the Rose and Broly banner. And this one is your standard, I mean, double, you know, LR banner. It's not really a standard Legendary Summon banner because there are two featured new LRs. But the rest of the units, as you can see, are just non Dokkan Fest units. Some of them are really good, like the Broly here is fantastic. Um, the Kawasu can be quite useful in like Super Battle Road and stuff like that. And this guy's a good support. But let's be honest, we don't really care about these guys, alright? All we care about are these two units right here. And since there are two featured new LRs, your chances of pulling a new LR on this banner is uh, quite a bit higher than your average legendary summon banner. So I do think it's worth the summon, but maybe uh, don't go too crazy on this one. And that is pretty much it guys. That is gonna do it for the full preview or breakdown of the upcoming events and characters and banners and all that stuff for Global's five year anniversary. I know this video was probably way longer than you thought it would be. I mean. It was way longer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like a 30 minute video, but things got a little out of control, but you know, that happens sometimes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyways. Hope you guys learned something along the way. And finally, I sincerely hope that you guys are excited for all this new stuff that we're getting, because I definitely am. If the beginning of this video wasn't obviously enough, I'm hyped, man. I don't remember the last time I was this hyped for anything in Dokkan or just 
in games in general, you know? So uh, it's gonna be a good time, guys. Expect a lot of content in the near future. If you guys wanna stay up to date with all that content, you know, the streams, the summoning videos, the collabs, the gameplay, all that stuff, then make sure to sub to the channel right now. We are on our way to 100K subs, hoping to get there by the end of this anniversary. So uh, if you guys wanna help me with that and also just watch some fire Dokkan content, then make sure to smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and uh, it's gonna be a good time, okay? So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it once again. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, once again, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here, until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.